My name is Star Killer, and I need to find some stars to kill. Uh, yeah, I got the Black Series Star Killer. This is a standard one. I didn't get the big exclusive one. Some people may think, oh, J4, you don't collect Black Series anymore. Why'd you get this? Because when I stopped collecting Black Series, I told myself one of the few exceptions I would make would be to get a Star Killer. And they made it, and I got it, and I'm pretty happy with it. Another exception I had uh, back in the day was the Magna Guard, and that did come to pass, but that figure doesn't seem too good, so I'm probably not going to get it. Uh, anyways, yeah, uh, I just wanted to show him off before this P.O. Box unboxing. We've got a big old box here from DJ Navarro, but first First, we have some letters. Let me grab those. Uh, so this one's huge. I want to make sure I don't destroy the contents of it. Uh, sorry, not looking at anything. Uh, this one, <laughs> it doesn't say like who it's from, but for my address, they put weird guy. So th thank you for that. Here, I need to just needed to look at it through my lamp to make sure I'm not tearing into the contents. So yeah, not sure who this is from, but it said weird guy, so I guess I'm a pretty weird guy, huh? So here we have a letter. A little cute little Cody. Uh, hello there, J4. I am Scout Trooper 345. I think I've seen that name. You may remember me from the stream you did a while building the Shock Trooper gunship. Ooh, that was <laughs> that stream took way longer than I thought it would. Uh, I've been a big fan of your channel for many years, and you're my number one favorite YouTuber. Oh, thank you. Uh, you're the reason I started my Clone Trooper collecting, and you're also the reason I started my channel, so I just wanted to say thank you for being awesome. Oh, thank you, dude. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. I like that little Cody, too. Oh, there we go. Gotta have some fan art. I still need to update my fan art wall. Uh, but that's definitely going on it. <laughs> Good old JCC2224 himself. I love how he has like the Clone Wars Obi-Wan chest armor. That's, I actually haven't kind of haven't really seen that take on him. But that's actually really cool. Thank you so much. I think that's it. Yeah, those were oh wait, is there something else in there? Is it like a strip or am I just seeing things? Nah, I was just a part of the envelope. We're all good. Uh, well, anyways, I'm concerned about this one. Uh, this one looks like it comes from Michael. Um, there's there's my address. But unfortunately, this is pretty badly bent. They <clears throat> bent it pretty badly uh, sending it in my P.O. box. So I hope the contents aren't too messed up. It looks like we got some pictures. And we have a note. Is that it? Looking like that is it. Let's read the note first. Uh... Dear Mr. Jedi Clone Commander 2002, <laughs> dude, just say Cody, you don't have to do that. <laughs> Encased in this parcel is a calendar for 2024, that's so awesome. Um, I got a calendar from uh, Noah ages ago, and I used it. I do have the Rise of the Beast calendar I did the YouTube short on, but I definitely am in the market for another one. Uh, I made you a copy, thank you so much. Alongside the calendar are some prints. I like to send actual plastic, but alas, uh, <laughs> if I could be specific, a mint on card, Star Wars Side Legends, Commander, Commander, oh no, not Bly, no, stop, stop, uh, better than the trash, stop, stop, I really want a Hot Toys Commander Bly though, that would make my dreams come true, now I have one question for you, are our worlds in danger, I don't know, we gotta ask Gary Chalk, best regards, Sith Astromech, oh yeah, you said you were sending something along, P.S. don't be afraid to show all the calendar pics, uh, P.P.S. how is the handless Power Ranger, uh, I think, I think he's still in my Power Rangers tub. I think so. I don't know if I cleared him out or not. I've had to get rid of a lot of the weird stuff I've gotten in the P.O. box throughout the years. It just was taking up so much space. Uh, PPPS. There was supposed to be a Toxitron print, but I forgot it. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. I forgive you. So is this the calendar right here? Looks like this is the calendar. So we have the, uh, like, semi-armada wheel jack with... Uh, the shattered glass Rodimus it came with, and the little boy right there. Is that... I don't know what that is. I, I'm struggling. Oh, that's the other side. Oh, my gosh. 2024 calendar. We got clones. We got Transformers. We got Armored Spider-Man. Th this is my jam. We've got Evac. I want that Evac. Someone in the P.O. Box. Send me Universal Studios Evac, please. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> so, for January... Got some Rise of the Beast action. Got some mainline action. I have all those mainline Maximals, too. They're really cool. Honestly, I think it's a really nice set. So this is January. I'm definitely going to use this, for sure. 
Here's February, all looking cool. I need me that TVC Slave 1. I do not have it yet. I need it. Uh, that's a really cool picture. And then we have the Renew Your Vows 2-pack. I got rid of the Mary Jane because I just didn't really need it. But that is a really cool 2-pack. I love that Spidey. Honestly, for me, like I don't really think I need any other Spider-Man action figure after that one. doesn't matter if it's Tobey Maguire or Andrew Garfield. It just doesn't matter to me. Uh, ooh, got some Decepticon action. Looking cool. Little tiny shockwave right there. Thank goodness we're getting a proper one. I always forget about that exclusive, like, damaged Revenge of the Fallen Megs they did. I always forget that's a thing. Got some Autobot boys. There's Evex. There he is. Uh, oh, Sea Spray, too. I like me some Sea Spray. Uh, so that's really cool for May. Oh, there he is. There's our boy. There's our boy. Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> Good old Garandin. I love Garandin. Um, and then we have Skylinks and a couple of those, like, base boys. Those are, like, some of the more obscure repaints of them. I don't remember. Ironworks and Airwave were the original molds. Uh, those are pretty solid toys, but I didn't bother with any of the repaints. There we go. There's some green boys, some AliExpress green boys. I only got the standard one, but honestly, like, that guy looks really cool. So, I don't know. I still haven't gotten the Wolfpack ones. I don't... I, I, I know I will at some point. There's uh, Inferno and Evil Inferno. <laughs> Even more eviler Inferno. I, I haven't gotten that. I don't know if I will, but it is really cool. That's for September. It's my birthday month, October. Oh, nice. We got Optimus just tearing apart Waspinator. I love it. I love it. What day's my birthday on? Oh, it's on a, it's on a Sunday this year. That's good to know. It's on a Sunday. Uh, <laughs> and then we have November with some G.I. Joe Classified action. Looking cool. I love that Crimson Guard. Definitely one of my favorite classified figures. I didn't get any of the classified figures that came out in 2023, shockingly. I didn't get any of them. Uh, and then we have some Fifth Fleet Boys with Garandin. Hype. Hype. <laughs> and then uh, one final image of a kitty and Wendy's Springer and normal Springer. And then uh, Cozy Cybernog. Oh, there's some... Energon Cubes, Blue Raspberry Jetto with uh, Jetto. What's a Jetto? Blue Raspberry Jello with one tablespoon edible sugar. That's so cool. There's like little little formulas. That's so cool. Uh, my camera. Why did I call them formulas? Oh my gosh. My camera is telling me I only have 30 minutes left to record, so that's fun. Oh no. A professionally printed picture. Saga Legends Bly. Get out of here. Commander Vel. Boys looking cool. Boys looking cool. All right, so there's the stuff from Sith Astromech. Thank you very much. Now let us get into this package from... Uh, why am I blanking? Uh, geez, what was it? What was it? Uh, this is how bad I am with names. It literally was on the front. DJ Navarro, there we go. I know, I know how to do things. Anyways, I'm gonna try to get this done in 30 minutes of this video, it doesn't last forever. Uh, I'm opening it from the bottom per usual because that's how I open things from the P.O. box. I don't have to worry about censoring the top. Uh, <laughs> so let us see what we have in this parcel. Looks like there's some bubble envelope. some bubble envelope. Oh my gosh. It's been a hot minute since I've filmed the videos. This is the first video I'm filming of 2024, by the way. First video. Oh boy. Oh boy. We got some goodness. We got some goodness. Good stuff. We got some good stuff. Oh, dude, no way! Oh, wow! It's the original uh, Dark of the Moon Deluxe Roadbuster. I have the orange version, but I've actually been meaning to get the actual green version. Well, saved me from doing that. Thank you. <laughs> That's really cool. Then what's this? Is this like a mini-con? Oh, this is a Power Core Combiner Limb! I don't have any Power Core Combiner Limbs. Isn't that what this is? I think so. I, I Are there more? There are more. Oh my, dude, there's a whole Power Core Combiner in here, I think. I have a version of this mold that's red, but I don't have this guy. Oh, wow, I can actually make... I think I can make a Power Core Combiner, finally. Look at all these limbs. I'll have to play with those. That's so fun. Oh my gosh. I've been wanting to make a Power Core Combiner for so long. And I have so many limbs now. Ah, yes, thank you. This is so hype. Is this a power core? I, it must be. It, it's giving me very strong power core limb vibes still. I just don't see the port. 
Where's the port at? Hmm. Oh, it's in the front. Okay. That's so cool. <laughs> Those are so cool. Thank you so much. Ooh, uh, we have a, um, this is the, uh, like, battle feature General Grievous. I, I don't remember. How does he, uh, oh, you push his head down. That's how it works. Yeah. I love this one. Very solid Grievous. I always thought his neck looked weird, though. Like, it's riding up into his face too much. That's still a really cool Grievous. Thank you so much. Uh, I just need to check and make sure I'm recording audio because I am getting paranoid that it is not recording because it's been a while. Okay, we're good. I'm leaving that in. You know what? Screw it. I'm leaving that in. You need to see the process. <laughs> you need to see the process. Uh, we have a bag for a tiny turbo changer, but I saw this one in here. Uh, looks like this is probably lockdown. Yeah, do, 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 do. Oh my gosh, this is horrible. This is no good. Oop, I broke it. I broke it, my bad. Is that it? Dude, that's bad. Does the body at least do something? Oop, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, it's a clear, like, stealth lockdown. I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, <laughs> very odd. Here's another power core limb. Dude, I might have enough to make two. That's insane. Dude, honestly, I think Power Core Combiners is really cool. I wish I had more. What's this battle droid back here? Oh, it's like a custom. Is this like one of the ones that R2-D2 had on his, in his gang? I'm not sure what all their decos were, but he gives me like the R2-D2 battle droid vibes. It's pretty cool. Thank you. And we have a couple more battle droids right here. Looks like they got a little bit, a little bit of deco on them as well. They're just some... Geonosis boys, looking cool, looking cool, digging it. And then we have, ooh, another Creo Optimus. Oh, dude, is this, um, this might be, like, a version. Was this the version that, like, came in that brick box where he doesn't have any print on the helmet? I'm not sure, but that torso print's really nice on that. That's a nice little Optimus, thank you. It's funny, I have like a one and done rule with Optimus Primes except for the Creons. I'll just take as many Creons as I can get. Uh, reaching in again, we have another Power Core Combiner Limb. Oh my gosh, can't wait to play with those. Um, we have... Ooh, and a uh, Saga Legends Obi-Wan. I'll definitely take this. Definitely doesn't hurt to have an extra Obi-Wan for sure. Uh, definitely appreciate that. And then we have another blue Battle Droid. Another blue... Uh, what version is this? I'm not sure. It's got, like, the brighter silver color. Looks like we have an original Captain Rex here, like the weathered version. I don't know if his shoulder pad's in here, but other than that, he's in pretty good condition. He's got he's got some of the PP pee -pee crotch, but that's just what you expect with these Captain Rexes nowadays. I mean, these things are, like, what, nearly nearing uh, 16 years old? Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Uh, what else we got? I noticed some lightsabers on the side. There's an Inquisitor lightsaber. That's good to have. We have a Darth Maul. Um, oh, is this like a Saga Legends Darth Maul or something? Oh, this one has like a... I've never seen this one before. What's the year on this? I've never seen this. This one like has like this gimmick. I've never seen that. Oh my gosh, we're going to stop. We're going to stop that. Uh, <laughs> we have another Clone Wars Obi-Wan. The amount of Clone Wars Obi-Wans I have is not, you know... Uh, <laughs> not a laughing matter. I have so many of this figure. But now I have another one. And this one I can have with a cool helmet because I love that helmet. I love that the Hot Toys one has that helmet too. I think it's really cool. There's Clone Wars Obi-Wan. There's a lightsaber for probably Clone Wars Obi-Wan. I noticed this R2 back here. Oh, is this the one that makes noise? Oh, this one doesn't work though. Hmm. Tragic. Because my uh, childhood one is, like, yellowed and also doesn't work. So I kind of want to get a new one of that. But it's hard to find these that work nowadays. Uh, what else we got? Oh, here's uh, probably the figure that that lightsaber comes from. Uh, a first brother. A grand inquisitor. Blah. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, and then we have Darth Maul's lightsaber. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, we have little accessories here. Jetpack. Very yellowed jetpack. Lightsaber, droid blasters. Oh, that's a Creo Optimus gun. Actually, out of all my Creo Optimus Primes, I don't think I have a gun for any of them. Uh, just trying to grab some of the accessories here. I noticed this in the bag. Ooh, a couple cool customs. 
couple cool customs. And then I think, oh, there's some stuff in the top as well. Here, let me get the bat the box out because I think we're at that point where we can have the box out. Let me just put all this stuff in view. There's some very good bubble wrap <laughs> at the uh, at the bottom of that. I'll tell you what, very good bubble wrap. So we got a couple customs here. Let's see who we got. So we have a sticky note that's folded in on itself. Arv Trooper is Sergeant Cole, and the pilot is Clone Pilot Silver. So here's uh, Sergeant Cole here. Looking cool. It's one of those uh, pack-in ARF Troopers. Mine is, like, horribly yellowed for some reason. Oh, there's the Captain Rex pauldron. <laughs> so we do have a complete Captain Rex. I want to take it from Cole here. And here's Pilot Silver. Does he have a... No, he doesn't have any, like, paint on his face. Yeah, those are pretty cool. I like those. Thank you, dude. Thank you. I like those. Is Silver a... Uh... Uh, no, I was wondering if he was, like, a cover-up of some yellowing, but <laughs> now those are really cool. Thank you so much. And then we do have this right here. Uh, top 21 Autobots I'll keep. Optimus Prime, Ironhide, Ratchet, Bumblebee, Jazz, Sides, White, Bars, Jetfire, Six Gun. Six Gun's an interesting one. Slammer, Ultra Magnus, Wheeljack, Topspin, Robuster, Blue Streak, Stringer, Stringer. What? Why can't I not say Springer's name right? Strafe, Slash, Grimlock, Hound, and Jolt. Those are some solid... Oh, here's the Decepticons. Are, I guess these are like your favorites. Um, Megatron, Soundwave, Thundercracker, Skywarp, Ravage, Mind, Wipe, Dead End, Sideways, Barricade, Scourge, Hotlink, the Bumblebee Studio Series Rumble. Yeah, I'm actually really excited for that one. Skull Cruncher, G2 Ramjet. Breakdown, Wild Rider, Sweep 1, Sweep 2, Needle Nose, and Blitzwing. No Brawl? You don't want to keep Brawl? Nah, I'm just joking. I'm, I, I'm just joking. Uh, here is the letter as well. Oh, wow. This is uh, quite the letter. <laughs> if you need my Instagram again, there's uh, DJ Navarro's Instagram right there. AJ4, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Sending you a few Transformers, Star Wars, and Customs that I've made that I don't need anymore. And when I watch some of your... Uh, uh, something in Transformers videos. I gave up. You said you need uh, these, so thought I'd send them since I've gotten the Studio Series version of him uh, during quarantine 2020. Oh, are you talking about like Robuster? Especially Robuster, I'm very happy. Especially the Power Core Combiners. Like, can't wait to play with those. I should have enough time in this video to start uh, start seeing if I could combine one. I also want uh, my first toy show. You also went to your first toy show in San Jose. And uh, in the Bay Area, and I've gotten Commander Neo. Ooh, nice. Oh, you got the speeder bike pack. I love that. Uh, 40 bucks is not bad for that pack, honestly. You got the in, Sp in Space Blue Ranger and Psycho Ranger Lightning Collection 2 pack for 30. That's not too bad. I like that. Uh, in s the. Or the. No, nah, I'm thinking of the wrong thing. I was thinking SPD. I have the SPD Blue Ranger. That one's cool. Uh, I really like. Uh, I really watch. <laughs> uh, uh, which I've gotten Protectobots. Uh, uh, did you get like those weird repaint Protectobots? Because I like those. But the main reason I went there was uh, to meet Tracy Lynn Cruz, who played the Yellow in Space Power Ranger. That's really cool. I'm not really a Power Rangers guy, but that's really cool. I like Power Rangers actors or like at shows nowadays. Uh, I took pictures with her uh, and taking a video with her, and I got an, an autograph from her. If you still have uh, my other letter, my Instagram is on there. Yeah, I, uh, I got it at the top here. I do keep every single letter. I have a big, like, portfolio thing where I keep every letter. I wish I would have kept them in, like, order. I've received them, but I just kind of, when I get a new letter, I just put it in there. Uh, also, I've gotten the mainline Optimus Prime from Rise of the Beast. Uh, hopefully, you can get the Studio Series one at some point because it's, I'm sure it's going to release standard at some point. Uh, and what did you think of Ahsoka's solo show? I thought it was pretty good. Really like the Solo Ahsoka show. Um, I wouldn't give it like a 10 out of 10, probably like a 7 or an 8 out of 10, but I did really enjoy it. Uh, I wish I had the Lightning Collection White Dino Thunder Ranger uh, like you do. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I, I just, I, I got him in the P.O. box, I think. Yeah, someone sent him to me in the P.O. box. Uh, and then like getting it with the right helmet too is really tough. Uh, Till all are one, DJ Navarro. Thank you so much, dude. Thank you so much. I really appreciate all the stuff. But I've got some time. 
I really need to have my first combined power core combiner in my life. So that's what I'm going to work on right now. Um, forgive me if it's not going to be 100% correct, because quite frankly, I'm not that worried about having it 100% correct, but I just want a power core combiner combined in my life. God, I love this head. I love for the one I have that's red that uses the same mold. I love the head on it, and I love the head on this one too. It just looks really cool. I don't know what else to tell you. It's just a really cool robot looking head. I'm going to assume that we're going to keep... Do the shoulders go like this on this mold? I'm not sure, but we'll, we'll figure it out. We will figure it out. And maybe like these are the hips. Again, forgive me. I'm not, you know, I'm just trying to like kind of configure it. I've heard a lot of mixed things on power core combiners. You know, I don't... I mean, like I've said, this is my first combined power core combiner. I don't have any others. I feel like the torso goes differently, though. Am I messing something up? I don't know. It just seems like a bit shouldery to me. Hmm. But I, I reckon, unless I can, like, straighten that, and then... Oop, I just twisted it off. Yeah, I don't think that's meant to go like that. Yeah, I, I, I guess it's just like that. That's, that's what we're going to roll with for right now. That's what we're going to do for the sake of time. I'm going to assume this is a leg. Is this a leg boy? Got to be careful how you hold them. I've never had any of the of the limb bots. I've never had any of them. It's really weird how they're all just like springs. Springs that you push. Ah, oh, jeez. Come on. Come on. I don't know if any of these limbs are right for this one, nor do I really care. Uh, but let's let's try this. Let's try this guy. Oh boy! Come on, come on. It's okay. It's okay. We're just going. I'm trying to put the hole in the slot. That's what we're doing here, and that's there. We go. Almost there. We go. So there's a foot. That's cool looking. You do get a knee joint too. Sorry if you didn't see all that. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, we have. I guess these are the protectabots. Is that what you're talking about? So I guess this is like Hotspot, maybe. I know that it's not actually called Hotspot, but... Oh, I love how that helicopter unfurls. That's cool. So there's a, there's the helicopter arm. And then I'm going to assume... Or do we have like Autobots? Can we make everybody an Autobot? Are you... No, you're... I don't think everybody can be an Autobot. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, this is an Autobot. And it's an arm as well. So that's cool. And then... Again, I don't think... I do have enough to make two, though. Oh my gosh! I do have enough to make another one. I think if I have enough, like, limbs... Like, enough legs and feet... Is this a foot, I'm gonna assume? This is so hype. I've been wanting... Power core combiner limb boys forever. Oh, that's an arm. He's an arm. Okay. So that's an arm. I think this is a foot. This guy's turned over to the Autobot side. He's changed his mind. Ooh, oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> I see why this line is considered a little temperamental. Because it is. Uh, and here is our... Combined hot spot esque guy here. Again, I don't know if the combined torso mode is 100%, nor do I really care for the purposes of this video. I just needed to make a power core combiner for the first time in my life. And I love it. I love it so much. I actually have several of the torsos, but I don't have any of the limbs. But I do think. Yeah, so this one's a foot. And then this one, what's this one? I think this one's an arm. So I think you gave me two arms and I got enough for, yes. I have enough for one, two, yes. Cool, awesome, awesome. <laughs> That's so hype. I have enough to make two actual combined power, power core combiners. Uh, one of them has to have a Decepticon on their team, but that's okay. Like I said, he's, he's switched sides. And I also want to transform this Roadbuster. 
Because why not? Because why not? Because I like this toy, and I only have the orange one, and I keep the orange one in the car mode all the time, so I don't really get to play with the robot mode on it. So this one I now have, which is awesome. I kind of wish I had the... Uh, I'm going to get the original Dark of the Moon Deluxe lead foot. Not, not the Studio Series one. The original Dark of the Moon Deluxe. Like the one that was not released in America. Uh, maybe one day. Man, I really wish they did Human Alliance for all the all the records. They didn't do one for Top Spin. And that irritates me so much. Because <clears throat> honestly, like, I didn't really get the Studio Series records. I just figured the original ones were fine. You know? I'm like, I'm happy with the original, like, Human Alliance and Deluxe ones. Like, I don't need the Studio Series. They just didn't look good enough to me. So I didn't get them. But this one, very happy to have the green Roadbuster. Because I seriously was at uh, the House of Plastic in uh, Beachmont, Ohio. And I was looking at this figure and I was thinking, man, it would be kind of cool to have the green Roadbuster. Because I've had the orange one for years kind of cool to have the green one and here it is in my life thank you dj navarro <laughs> uh still need that evac not not from you i'm just saying in general i need that evac uh <laughs> but here is Roadbuster. last i checked he's still like busting the roads and everything so yeah he's he's doing a good job Roadbuster is doing a good job this is a nice figure. I like it. It's very interesting how they repurposed this into Lockdown for Age of Extinction. And then Hot Rod for The Last Night. <laughs> I find that so funny. Uh, obviously, this is the best version of this like transformation scheme. But it's, you know, it's classic. This is a classic like 13-year-old Transformer now. And I am here for it. Alrighty, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much to everybody that sent letters, that sent packages. Uh, this was an awesome start of the year for me. You know, nice nice just to have a video of opening up some toys and having some fun. Uh, yes, my Star Killer that I showed at the uh, start of the video is just chilling back there. He was not in the P.O. box. He's just he's a participant in our activities. Got a couple Obi-Wans, got some custom clones. This is hype. Thank you so much, guys. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, absolutely love it. Alrighty, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Do you like all this free stuff I got? Are you jealous? <laughs> you should be. <laughs> Special shout out to channel members, as always. Thank you all so much for the continued support. Have a great one, guys. And uh, I'll see you as I continue making videos in 2024. Uh, hopefully we can keep the keep the hype train rolling. I hit eighty thousand subscribers. That's hype. But yeah, let's let's see what twenty twenty four brings, huh? You've already seen plenty of videos in the year, but this is the first video I'm filming for the year. So here you go. <laughs> Have a good one, guys. Bye.